Hello everyone, it is Legos Forever and welcome back to another Legos Forever Builds. Today we have the USS Misty, which is a destroyer themed to the destroyers of World War I. Let's get a closer look. Now as you can see, the USS Misty is quite big and it is the longest ship I have built. Now I'll give you more stats by the end of the video, but let's get a close up of just this beautiful ship in all of its glory. So let's start off at the bow here. If you see shadows, please forgive me. The light is behind me right now. I will get a better setup here in a little bit, but this is currently what I have. We got the bow right here with one gun, one main battery, and where the anchor would go, and two little pieces that move the anchor around. The front pole, which leads to the mast. Again, this is the second. This is the second ship that has involved string to go all the way along the back and the front and the top and the middle and all the places. Here's the uh, bow. As you can see right here, I got a little side plating. Same thing I did with the uh, USS Shanty, where I got just a little hinge, close it. Actually, I don't think I did that on the Shanty, but uh, on the, this one I do. It comes to a little bit of a point. It comes to a more of an actual point at the end of the ship. So, Cuts through the water pretty good. As you can see, it's also sloped downwards as well to signify the bow itself going, you know, below the water line. Little chain railing right here in the front. As we go further back, you have a little anti-aircraft gun right here in the back. And we got the bridge. As you can see, we got a nice little enclosed deck right here, along with another door right there. On the bridge, we have the uh, steering wheel right there on, on the side, on the front, sorry. And a bunch of just kind of uh, like deck space, tables, desks, so on and so forth up there. Every, everything that the ship would need alongside the uh, ceiling, of course. Now this is, uh, like I said before, themed to the uh, ship of world a ship from World War One. I. I believe it was the USS... Clemson? I might correct that later if I remember what it really was, but I believe it was the USS Clemson. And this ship is based off of its design. Uh, and back then they really didn't have radar and such, so as you can see there isn't many, you know, anything to signify computers, nothing to signify like antennas. I even took the radar dish off uh, that I used for the shanty. I didn't put that on here because it simply wouldn't be there. Going further aft, I'm going to turn the boat a little bit so I, so I can show you the decks back here. We have a uh, kind of staircase ladder going up from the deck to the bridge. Two little, um, I would say antennas, but they're not really antennas, so I honestly don't know what they are. But I put them on a lot of my ships, so they're on this one as well. Two more main, main batteries for each side. Now, another thing I forgot to mention on the first one, but I will mention on this one. So these do turn, but they don't exactly point up and down. You can make them point up and down a little bit, but then they're going to come off. So, But the main thing that can they can do, they can turn, not 360 degrees because of the way they're built, but the ones on the real ship wouldn't either. They would only turn so far. Like, you can't really turn all the way around 360 degrees. That'd be a mistake. Um... Further back right here, as you can see, we got four funnels. I believe this is the second ship I've ever had four funnels on. Um, the first one, I believe, was the USS Pumpernickel. That one, such a beautiful name. That one had four funnels on it, but this one, they're a bit more colored, co color coordinated to look better. Originally, this build had two. I just recently changed it. At the time of making this video, I just recently changed the funnels around, so uh, they look a little bit more compacted like they're supposed to on this sort of ship, in sort of details. Uh, multiple extra details around here, exhaust pipes, other things, so on and so forth. Uh, two sets, uh, actually four sets of two torpedo tubes each, so this has eight torpedo tubes total. Again, can't turn 360 degrees, but these won't because the early U.S. destroyers, as you can see it from a uh, top-down kind of view, had 
torpedo tubes on both sides. So this one had torpedo tubes on both sides. That side had two uh, sets. So they would either fire full broadside torpedoes going in that direction. I'll point them a little more down so you can see. So uh, yeah, broadside torpedo tubes in that direction or a set of broadside torpedo tubes in this direction. So yeah, it kind of it helps out with uh, the maneuverability of the ship in terms of where they're able to fire these off. So you can like fire it right off the back here, pointing forwards. It, it really just helps uh, in terms of attack while trying to be maneuverable at the same time. Little uh, lifeboat here. This lifeboat actually comes with strings. The strings themselves are put on kind of weird, but because the, the boat looks like it's constantly being lowered and kind of tilted a little bit. But alas, it does have strings and this is the best I could possibly make these work. There you go. Beautiful. So, more exhaust ports, little side details, so on and so forth. This is the third, uh, actually fourth, sorry, main battery, right here. Again, can't turn 360 degrees, but it's not meant to. It's meant to just literally turn back and forth to shoot off the sides of the ship. Uh, back kind of, this is supposed to have a steering wheel on it. I didn't build it big enough for a steering wheel. So, like, it's supposed to have the, um, like, I don't know, what's the, docking bay? That's not a docking bay, that's not ships. Uh, spaceships, sorry. What am I thinking of? What is this? I don't know. It's, um, uh, it's a thing and it's beautiful. Yeah, we'll go with that. We got the searchlight that I pulled from the shanty. Almost completely pulled it. I don't think I actually changed much on it. It's pretty much the same thing. And another anti-aircraft gun back here. And another, uh, the fifth uh, main battery cannon on the back. Has a back pole for the mast. Again, string going all the way over. Uh, stabilizer bars on each side to keep the ship from... Uh, rotating and uh, capsizing just on the open sea. And I'm going to move the ship again so that you're able to see these without the camera freaking out too much. As you can see from down here, I now have, uh, not now have because I've had them for a while, uh, propellers and a rudder on both sides. It actually has a piece underneath on both sides to stop it from turning too far. So, that, um, it, it looks really cool, and I, I like how it was built, too, because it's, it's just got a very smooth, uh, fairly solid, actually, built. I was surprised how solid that came out, considering the pieces I used for it. But yes, so if you hear a lot, like, that's just me and what I do. So, <laughs> after two years, that's probably been figured out by now. But yes, the USS Misty. I'm going to get it back into frame here, and then I will give you stats. I think that's in frame. I'm taking a guess. I can't see. No, it's not in frame. It's a little out of frame. Uh, the bigger these things get, the harder it is to keep these things in frame. Okay, yep, that works. So, yes, the USS Misty. I shall now give you stats. If this ship was real, its length would be 341 feet long. It would have a beam of 35 feet and a top speed of 28 knots. Uh, and for a ship, sorry, that's my phone ringing, ignore that, and it's going to continue ringing until it's done ringing. <laughs> Can you do something about this rain? It's rain. The rain will stop when it's done. Sorry, I was making a reference. Um, yeah, so for a ship in World War II, not World War II, World War I, sorry, uh, it's pretty fast, because most ships back then were kind of slow, kind of sluggish. This one's very fast and cuts through the water pr pretty quickly. Uh, this is the 19th, 19th total ship I have built for this mini-series. And, uh, its length, in terms of studs, and width in terms of studs, it is 112 blocks long and 8 blocks wide. For reference, the shanty was 106 blocks long and 12 blocks wide, so not as bulky as the shanty, clearly, but definitely, uh, longer. And uh, with a little bit more uh, to accurate detail, I would say, in terms of real-life ships. So yes, the USS Mint Misty. I almost said Minty. Oh dear. Um, 
uh, if you like this video, please like the video, comment down below saying that you like the video, also comment down below suggesting other things for your channel, whether it be Lego videos, vlog videos, challenges, stuff to learn on the piano, literally anything, I am open to suggestions, I love learning new things. Um, and also, uh, keep in mind, uh, I just got a shipment in with a bunch of Legos, and within the next month of making this video, I will have more Legos coming in. Uh, mo mostly, but not limited to, gray plates. So I'm actually going to be able to build bigger ships. Much bigger ships. In fact, just to give you guys a little bit of a uh, teaser, I'm going to take this off and then move the tripod, because it's kind of in the way right now. But to give you guys a bit of a teaser, that is plates. I got, I got uh, bigger plates, small plates, connectors for the, um, to connect the haul up to the deck because that's usually what I use for those or at least would like to start using for those but yeah I just nothing but plates and other bricks to make sure it gets welded all together and nice and smoothly but yeah so hopefully within the next month I know I've been ma making big breaks here and there on making videos I'm sorry but I just got a job not that long ago and it's kind of taken up all my time and all the time it's not taken up, I am exhausted. So, yes, hopefully I'll be making more videos here soon. Now that I got more breaks, I'm getting a little bit more oomph to really get work done. Uh, hopefully I can get more Lego builds done, more keyboard videos, projects in general, actually. So hopefully within the, hopefully 2020, you guys will be seeing some good stuff coming for me. Uh, but either way, yes. Uh, without much else to say, until next time. Tally ho everyone! Bye!